I want to raise up a topic based on what I just read, what I just read, Dean Anthony. Breaking news of my situationship. Breaking news of my situation ship. Come on, come on. Some of the people are going, oh God, no, no, no. I want to be able to break loose of your situation ship. Didn't say relationship, but I want you to be able to break loose of your situation ship. There are some things that, that get us in life deeper than everybody else can hear that, that kind of disturb my peace at times. There, there are people who are, we may be in relationship with that also violate my peace at times. You may find yourself either married or you may find yourself in a relationship with someone and they're violating your peace. And sometimes you may find yourself in a situation that's also violating your peace. Meaning is that I am in a situation where I cannot get no peace, I cannot have no time to myself, I cannot relax. Deek and everybody else because when I seem to think that I'm getting ahead or when I think that I'm achieving something, something else comes along or another situation start to appear. Uh, there are some of us right now who are dealing with situations and dealing with things right now that's out of our control. There's some stuff right now that we wish that if we had only had a grip on it from the first time that we got in it, Things will be different. Am I talking to anyone? There are situations right now that we didn't even place ourselves in because we never saw it coming. We never thought that it would even happen to me. But there are some situations there, Deacon Dale, that I have to say that if those situations didn't come about, then where would I be? Come on, talk to me. If those situations would never happen, my mindset there, Anthony, would be stuck in the same low down disrespectful place that it was. I gotta be talking to somebody. If situations never occur, I would never realize, watch this church, how strong I am. Am I talking to somebody? How strong I am because I thought I was going to break when I went through some situations. I thought I was gonna lose my mind when I experienced some situation. Some of these situations has made me what? Stronger, better, and why, sir? Am I talking to anybody that's dealt with some situation where you thought that you was going to throw in the towel and lose your mind because this situation was not like any other situation that I have experienced? Amen. Amen. I, I, I got to be talking to somebody. There are some situations right now, anybody right now, that I cannot control, and there are some situations, amen, that I can control. And, and this situation that I'm talking about that I can control is called situationship. Amen. Meaning is that I got the power to change, amen, the situation. I'm not talking to somebody. I got the power, amen, to change the situation, amen. But what I do is I enter into a situationship, amen. How do you do that, Pastor? It means that I come into agreement, amen, with whatever that I'm going through, whatever that I'm in. Mean. I'm in agreement right now, amen. Whatever it may be right there, Kim, amen. Meaning is that it's just a little pain, amen. Amen. Instead of finding out what the pain is or who's causing the pain or what's causing the pain, amen, I enter into a what? Situationship, amen. Instead of getting rid of, amen, whatever it may be, amen, deacon, amen, I'm in a what? Situationship, amen. Meaning is that I have found peace, amen, in my situationship, amen. Meaning I have found some type of joy, amen, in my situationship, amen. I have found, by just part for a lot of us, some endurance, amen in my situation ship. Meaning is that I thought that I can endure some pain. Amen. I thought I can endure some hard times. Amen. I thought I can endure some talk to me what? Some rejection. Amen. In other words, I have entered into a situation ship. Amen. That doesn't mean no good for me. I got to be talking to somebody. Amen. I'm looking at some people. Amen. That I'm in a situation ship right now. Amen. That I know that God is telling me what? To pack up my bags. Amen. And get on out of there. Amen. But I stay there. Amen. Because 
because we've been in a, 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 a relationship for, for a long time. I gotta be talking to somebody. May not be y'all, amen. I've been drinking and smoking, amen, for what? A long time, amen. Uh, some of y'all got a situation, amen. If I drink, amen, I drown my problems, amen. If I smoke, amen, I put my problems up in the air. I gotta be talking to somebody, amen. I, I'm dealing with some stuff right now, amen, amen that I need to come out. Is there anybody in a situation saying, today I gotta come out of this what situation? Amen. The situation ship. You cannot make agreement with pain and, and hurt and misery and, and rejection and even some people that's talking about you. You got to find yourself out of this situation. Amen. Stop bargaining with people who does not, amen, mean or have the best, amen, for you. Stop trying to give them a place to stay. Amen. And, and this is not physical people. I'm talking about, I'm talking about pain and sickness. Amen. A lot of y'all are dealing with sickness and dealing with trust issues and Dealing with hurt and abuse, amen. And, but you have made yourself in a what situation, amen, because you refuse to talk about it, you refuse to get over it, you refuse to let it go. But a lot of y'all said today we're breaking up. Someone said that today I'm breaking up, amen. Whatever I'm in right now, whatever I'm going through, amen. This situation, amen, it's violating my peace. I can't sleep, man, and I can't eat, I can't do nothing, I can't have a relationship, I can't have my girl, I can't do what I need to do, amen, because I got all my mind and all my heart, y'all shout with me, on my situation, on my situation, just because you're in it, and just because you're going through it, doesn't mean that you make it part of your life. He tells us in his word right now, he left us with what? Peace. I don't understand that sometimes. Why, why is it so hard for us to experience and, and enjoy this thing called peace? Am I talking to somebody? You want to be able to come home at night, amen, to what? To some peace. You, you want to be able to come to church, amen, and worship God, amen, in some peace, amen. You want to be able to go to work, fine, amen. Y'all shout with me about work in some, in some peace. I'm not talking to them, D. D, let me talk to you, D. Amen. I, I want to be able to do some stuff and, and have some what? Peaceful times. Amen. So I'm shouting to me in peace. Amen. I don't want to deal with the same person when I walk through the door. Amen. You start some mess. Am I talking to somebody? I want to deal with your messy, low down, jacked up church folks. Amen. Every time I come to worship and praising God, you got an attitude or you're looking at me some type of way. Amen. I don't, I, I won't stick here, amen. I don't want to look at you, amen, because I'm shouting, I'm getting my praise on because I know how good God has been to me and where God has brought me from and, and you're frowning and you're upset, amen, because I know what peace is, amen. Someone said, until you go through it, you'll never know what peace is, amen. Until you experience it, you'll never know what peace is. Church folks, sometimes, look, look, I gotta break up with you. This, this situation ship that we're in right here, amen, it's not working for me. Y'all shout me right now, say, it's not working for me, amen, because God has been too good for me, amen, for me to be in a situation ship with you and not be in a relationship with him. God, God not shout me, amen. I, I can't be in a situation, a situation ship with you and not have a relationship with God, amen, because uh, something has to give, amen. If you can't praise him, and if you can't what, thank him, like I thank him from the time that I get up, but every time I turn around, you complain about a bill. I got to be talking to somebody. If you can't give him some joy, amen, because he has done some stuff for you, not just one time, two times, amen, we can't be in a relationship. I got to be talking to somebody. Have your what, situationship, and I just want to be our what, relationship with God. Your situation, amen, it, 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 only, it only keeps and hinders you from being what God wants you to be. Your situation, amen, get the best of you every time that you think or every time that you wake up, amen. And you, you know you got those people that complain about everything. Come on, talk to this. This ain't them. Let me talk to the banner. Uh, you got those people uh, that complain about everything. And then you got people like me that look at those people who are complaining about everything, uh, thinking, saying, man, how can you open your mouth to say that God hasn't done nothing for
for you. How can you even fix your lip to say that God is not real? He doesn't love me because he didn't come through. Amen. This time. Amen. And I'm just sitting back. I'm just sitting back right here, Chrissy, thinking, how many times did he come for you? How many times did he come through for, uh, through for you? Amen. Uh, how many times did you can count that God showed up for you? Amen. Let me count for you. Amen. You remember the time you came down and you needed prayer? Amen. Because you was on your way to the hospital. Do you remember the time that you, you was on the phone asking somebody for this and that? Amen. And God showed up. Now, let me continue to count. Do you remember, amen, when you were saying, amen, you was getting ready to kill yourself? Amen. And then something changed. Amen. A phone run. Amen. You remember the time when you lost mama, you lost daddy, you lost a child, you lost this and that, and you felt like you couldn't go on, amen. And God stepped in and showed up, amen. Right. Am I talking to somebody? Hold your hand up, amen. And count how many times, amen, that God has done it again and again and again. Someone shout right now and say, thank you, God. We are in a situation, amen. And the, the situation, amen, keep us from what? Giving God an authentic worship and praise, amen. Let me say it again. The situation, stop us from what? Giving God an authentic worship and praise. Authentic mean a real, genuine praise, amen. You, you, you come in here, y'all. Uh, some people come around here. You see them everywhere. They're all they going to praise God, amen, when you praise God, amen. They, they going to ask you, Dick, what you doing right there? You say, I'm praying, amen. Who are you praying for? Uh, uh, you mess them up. I'm praying for you, amen. Look at your neighbor and point to him and say, I'm praying for you, amen. And then they ran point back, find somebody else say, I'm praying for you, amen. Uh, and tell them, amen, the situation, amen, that we are in and that you are in, that you experience, amen, it won't last, amen, always. I, I got to ask somebody right now and say, listen, the situation that you are in right now, it will not last always, amen. There are a lot of people right now that's contemplating, amen, going in the towel, amen, giving up on God, amen, uh, walking away from the word of God, amen. They don't have peace, brother, in their life, amen, because they focus on, amen, what they don't have in their life. I gotta ask somebody here. They don't have peace in their life because they always focus on, amen, what they don't have in their life. Amen. amen. So stop worrying about what you don't have in your life, amen. And ask God, amen, to give what He wants you what? To have in your life. Amen. Because what you want, amen, is violating your peace. Amen. What you want, amen, is not what God wants. Amen. Uh, amen. Who you want, amen, is not who God has designed for you to have. Amen. Look at yourself and say, God, listen, you didn't want me to be this way, jacked up, hateful, evil, mean, and I'll always distress. Amen. God, you want me to live a life, amen, that I ain't got to worry about trouble. Am I talking to somebody? You want me to live a life where I ain't got to worry about, amen, if I'm going to be put out on the street, amen, because I don't have enough money for this one. I'm not talking to me, amen. You, you want me to understand, amen, that you can supply all my needs. I ain't talking to nobody. That I can be able to sleep, amen. Knowing that the shared department, amen, is one step away. Am I talking to somebody? Y'all may have never had an eviction or never been, what, uh, ready to be put out or something. You never uh, uh, wanted, how you gonna pay your car, though, amen, because you didn't make another, enough hours on your check, amen. Y'all experienced it, amen. You didn't have no, enough food in your refrigerator, amen. And, and you're afraid to call, amen. Sister Kimberly in the so, amen. Do you got a little enough to help me and my family? I ain't talking to these people. Amen. These people never experienced this stuff. These people never went through no hardship. Amen. These are perfect people. Amen. Who never went through anything. Amen. But I want to talk to the unperfect people right now. Say, I'm still trying to get my stuff together right now. I'm still trying to find out how to budget. Amen. From one check. Amen. To the another check. Amen. Or even if I ain't got a job, I'm trying to figure out how to get that money. Am I talking to somebody saying, Pastor, I'm hanging on, amen, by a thread. Yes, because my situation that I entered in has told me, amen, that I can just cut corners just a little bit. I can just go ahead and, uh, uh, you know, the days that some of us used to sell dope and then, you know, do little stuff and think that we're going to have to rob. Amen. I'll be honest with you. But the situation has turned right now. Amen. I, I just want some people right now to say, I don't want the situation Amen. But I want a what? Relationship. Yes. With God. Amen. If, if that's you right now, just clap your hands real quick. I want to make sure I have the right people in here. Amen. That 
that there, there were some people, deep, amen, that came in this morning in a situation. All right. And your situation has caused you not to sleep for a few days. Come on. Because you're worried about how it's going to get done. Y'all talk to me. There's some people that came in, Sister Sadie, this morning in a situation. Amen. Trying to figure out how I'm going to be able to talk to her and or talk to him yeah. because they don't want to listen. Amen. Yeah. I, I got to be honest, talk to some people. Amen. There are some hard-headed people, no matter what you say to them, they refuse to listen. Lord God. But not y'all. Amen. And not ah. this group. Amen. Not this group right here. Uh, there are some people right now, and they, amen, that regardless of what they're going through, amen, they, they feel as though, amen, that they, they can make it. Amen. Yeah. There are some people now that's in here right now and said, I stop worrying about it and let God have full control. Amen. Yeah. Am I talking to somebody? My, your situation, yeah. amen, yeah. wants you to worry. Amen. Your situation wants you to be what? Stressed out. Your, your situation right now wants you to go out and get a gun and rob and, and do what you got to do for some change. Amen. Your situation right now is expecting for you what? To lay down and to die. Amen. But I got some believers in here saying, we're breaking up today. Amen. Because God did not design my life to be this way. Amen. If I'm sick, amen. Y'all got to shout with me. So be it. Amen. If I don't get it, so be it, amen. If you don't like me, so be it, amen. You don't want to talk to me, so be it, amen. You don't believe me, so be it. Y'all not shouting me. If you don't trust me, so be it, amen. We're breaking up today, amen. Only, but only to get in a relationship, amen, with God. Y'all should be making some noise, amen. I'm letting go of all that stuff, amen. Yes, God. Today, the word of God here says that uh, 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 right here, I got to have peace, Gibbs, and I, I got to have peace in order for me to see where God want me to be. Uh, I got to have peace, amen, watch this part, to do what God want me to do. Uh, and see, that's the problem, and they, they don't understand what God has called you to do. Yeah. They don't understand that, Minister Lisa, amen, what God has called you to do. Think it's that they don't understand, amen, what God has called you to do, amen. And so in other words, instead of me having this relationship with God, I have a relationship with the, I have a situation with the person who doesn't understand what God has called me to do, amen. The word of God said, if I have to go by myself, amen, Send me, oh, am I talking to somebody, amen? If, I don't care if you want to go with me, I don't care if you want to go to church with me, but I got to get dressed, I got to get ready, amen, because there was some stuff, amen, that happened this week, amen, that I can't get in this house, amen, I can't get on this job, I got to get with the rest of the believers, amen, so that we can have a relationship, amen, and worship and praise God, amen, that everything is going to be all right. Am I talking to somebody? See, when I come to the church, amen, I find peace, amen. When I get with messed up people like y'all, amen, and myself, amen, I find peace. Am I talking to somebody? Did I hurt your feelings when I said messed up people? If I'm wrong, if all the messed up people just shout and make some noise so that I know that I'm... Y'all submit. I, I want to I wanna make sure that everybody understands. All you jacked up, messed up, rusty people right now know that you slipped up not just one time, but a few times. Now, make some noise so that we know that. Now, just because we messed up and we, we did, we, whatever, doesn't mean you have to stay that way. But I just want you to bring it to the surface so that God can fix it. Your situation is not who you are. You lost some things and you, you've been some places, but it's not who you are. They can call you by your nickname, but you have to remind them, amen, that God has cleaned me up and gave me back my, what, my original name, amen. All of the pookie and kill kill and, and killer and, and, and uh, whatever it may be, amen. That's not who you, who you are, amen. You are a, what, a child of the most high, amen. Am I talking to somebody, you come from what? A priesthood of what? A royalty, amen. Yeah. Meaning that, watch this point, if I come from a priesthood of royalty, that means that I am a what? A king, amen, yeah. in the eye of my father, amen. I'm not talking to nobody, you are a queen, amen, yeah. in the eye of your father, amen. Nobody they tell you that you ain't nothing. Nobody, if they tell you that you're not gonna be nothing, they, nobody they tell you that you're not gonna get better, you got to pick yourself up and uh, don't remind them, but remind yourself, amen, who you are, amen. 
A lot of y'all just stuck in relationships and situations right now and don't know how to get out of them. Close this thing, bring it to the bring this thing to a close today. The word of God read again, I have spoken these things to you while I remain with you. Amen. Amen. And again, it dropped down to 27. It says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives you. Your heart must not be troubled or fearful. Your heart must not be troubled and fearful. Come on. Let me, let me see if you catch it. Your heart must not be troubled and fearful. Come on. The, your heart must not be troubled and fearful. I told you before, we have to stop being scared about going through some stuff. No matter what it may look like right now, my heart would not be troubled. No matter what I'm experiencing, what I got to go through it, my heart would not be troubled. Because I know that once I come out of this, there is a praise on the outside of what I am going through. Y'all not, not catching, amen. I know that it's a praise on the outside, amen, of what I'm going through, amen. Now watch this, the praise is on the outside, and I got to figure out how to get the praise, amen, on the inside, y'all, y'all not catching it, amen. So in other words, uh, uh, Tina, when I go do something, amen, I got to find a praise, amen, on whatever situationship, amen, that I'm going through, amen. I got to find some joy and happiness, Anthony, amen, on what I'm going through, amen. I would not let my situation, amen, out praise me. God got missed that part. I won't let my situation, amen, out praise me, amen. Amen, if I'm sick, you can know this part, right? Here. If I'm sick, I'm still going to praise him. If there anybody right now saying, if I'm, my body is aching with pain, I'm still going to praise him. Amen. If I'm one step away from losing everything, amen, I'm still going to praise him. If there anybody right now said, I'm in a storm right now, but I'm still going to praise him. Amen. Y'all not shot me. Amen. I, I'm not feeling my best, Pastor, but I'm still here to want to praise him. Amen. I got some court dates and some stuff looming on the horizon, but that's all right, amen. I'm still going to praise him. I got some doctor promise, amen, that it doesn't look good, amen, but I'm still going to praise him, amen. I may lose my job this week, amen, but I'm still going to praise him, amen. They may repo a card, amen, kick me out, got not shot, but what? I'm still going to praise him, amen. We don't see eye to eye for y'all in, in the relationship, amen, but we still going to what? Praise him, amen. One day I know for sure, amen, that when praises go up, amen, blessings come down. Y'all not shut right now. Y'all should be turning the place up. When you praise God, amen, blessings come down. You have to learn how to start praising God. Even if it's even if it's some good stuff that's happening. Because when God starts to bless you with stuff, you stop praising. Him. When God starts opening up doors and providing, you start praising Him. When the, when your marriage or your relationship your relationship seen as though like it's all calm and y'all work things out, you stop praising Him. Even when the church, amen, you came down in, you start worshiping, you came down and prayed for you, and you join whatever it is, you start doing what? You start praising him. The word of God said, you got to be able to keep the praise on your lips at all time. And all time you go through, you, you got to praise him. All time. They don't understand when you walk around and you're just singing songs like this, that I still got you. Y'all let me go catch it in a minute. This side got a little bit. They don't understand, brother, why, why you walking around and you still what singing songs like I what I still got you. Y'all got this point. They don't understand because they know that, amen, that eventually some stuff is getting ready to happen, but you walking around saying, I still got joy, amen. You walking around, amen, not being what they think you should be, amen, but you shouting right now and saying, what, I still got joy, amen. Amen, I lost everything, and I was put out on the streets, amen, but I still had joy, amen. Y'all not missing, amen. They walked out of your life, they walked out of my life, but I still 
I still got joy, amen. I ain't got no money in my pocket, amen. I asked you, you said, I ain't got nothing. I said, that's all right, but I still got joy, amen. Mama not here, father not here, amen. Whoever's not here, y'all should be shouting and saying, I still got joy, amen. Y'all not, y'all not praise one, amen. Nobody got, if you don't come through for me again, amen, but I still got joy. God, if you don't do it again, Kim, amen, I still got joy, amen. Stephen, if you don't show up, amen, in the midnight hour, amen, someone shouts that I still got joy. I don't think we got some people in here right now, amen, that still got joy. I want some people to say, no matter what it is, amen, I'm going to praise him, amen, 24-7, amen. I'm going to praise him in the morning time. I'm going to praise him in the noon time. I'm going to praise him in the evening. I'm going to praise him in the midnight hour. I'm going to praise him, amen, when he won't leave me alone, amen, early in the morning. I, I got to have some folks right now say, God, stop messing with me. God said, where is your praise at, amen? Get up, amen, and wake the neighbors up, amen. You can just be walking around the house, amen, all day long because the word of God says, amen, for some of y'all who don't know, amen, you better get your practice on, amen, praising and having joy right now because, of, but, amen, you won't make it in heaven. Amen. The word of God said that all day long we'll be what? Praising and thanking him. All day long we're going to be singing songs. Amen. How I made it over. Is there anybody right now saying how I made it? How I made it over. By and by. I want to talk to some folks right now saying I barely made it over. Come on y'all not talking. I'm barely what? Making it over. How I made it, how I made it over. And they would never understand your song or the joy that you got because what? You're making it, you're making it over. By hands, not closed out. I made it soon, but this is by hand. People who was counted out. They didn't think that you were going to be anything, they didn't think you were going to make it. All by the hand, put your hands up if you were counted out right now. Hands up, all the church. Even, even little kids are like this. They count you out on the football team. Listen, hands went up. They counted you out. Now watch the part. Keep your hands up. I'm going to see you for a second. I'm going to get tired. Yeah. This is a workout class. Your hands up. Now watch this part. When you go around those same people that thought that you wouldn't make it, that you was going to commit suicide, that you were going to fall into depression, when you walk around where they said that you'll end up or you'll be just like your father, and you do the same stuff as your mother, Come on, hands up. And when you go back around them, you have to tell them, put your hands down so I can tell you this. You have to tell them, fix your face. I still got joy. Y'all not shouting right now. You got to be able to tell them, fix your face, amen. Because I'm still here, amen. I'm still standing, amen. By the grace and mercy of God, amen. I'm still here. Come on, y'all. It, it ain't no wrong with man. Fix your face, amen. I know you're depressed, amen, because I'm still standing, amen. I know you're depressed, amen, because I didn't fall victim to the penal system, amen. I know that you're depressed, amen, that I came out of the jail cell, amen. Oh, amen. With everything, amen. You're still a man, you're still a woman. I'm not talking to somebody. Tell them, fix your face, amen, right now, because you don't know, amen, how good God has been to me. Am I not some folks right now? Say, only because of the grace. And mercy of God that I'm still that I'm still here. Jesus told us that He's leaving us peace that the world can't get to. Get you The world is going to give you peace. The world's going to give you stuff that make you feel good and make you happy, but it's not the same peace that God can give He said that my grace, come on, y'all should be shouting right now. He said that my grace, the world can't give you what? The grace and mercy that Jesus can give. A lot of us are still in situations, ships right now, expecting forgiveness from the world. Y'all miss this. The world cannot forgive you how you want to be forgiven. Amen. But the God that I serve says cast all your all your burdens on me. And he said that I will give you peace. 
Come on, y'all, tell me. He said, I will give you peace. I will give you peace. I will give you peace. Amen. I will give you peace. I will give you peace. Amen. And the peace that I love that he gives me. Amen. I can walk in the same situationship. Amen. And still remain the person that I am today. Amen. Amen. I ain't got to snap out. I ain't got to flip out. And I ain't got to what? Bust your head. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Y'all got the right one here. Amen. Because I'm able to walk through and say, I know what you said about me. Peace. Amen. I know what you were doing to me. Peace. Amen. I know what you think of me. Amen. Peace. Amen. Y'all not talk to me. I, I, I must not got no head busters in here. I, I ain't got no shoot em up. Amen. And bang, bang in there. Amen. I ain't got no what? I'm a slap in here. I, I want some people right now to say, Pastor, amen. If he didn't give me peace, amen, I'd be locked up somewhere, amen. Pastor, if he didn't do it, amen, I would have lost my mind. I'm not talking to somebody. Someone said, thank you, God, amen, for giving me, for giving me peace. Women, I'm just talking about the men, the men, because y'all y'all may say, hey, Pastor, amen, if he didn't give me peace, I would cut everything up. I would bleach everything, amen, bust out windows, I would set some stuff on fire, amen. He would have been out on the streets, amen. If he didn't give me peace, look, somebody laughing right now, amen. But thank God that he gave what? Peace. The world can't give you what you are searching for. The world will give you, shout with me, situation shifts, all right? He would give you that. But God said, I want you to have a what? Relationship with me. Have a relationship with God. I'm telling you, you will get the peace that your soul desire. Amen. Everything may not come how you want. Watch the part. But he always show up. Y'all not shouting with me, but he always show up. Y'all stand up on y'all feet right now. Shout out. But he always show up. I'm not shouting on the again, but he always show up. He always show up. Because I never see. Come on, y'all shout with me. Amen. Yes. Come on, come on. I never see the righteous forsaken. You see me going through it, but you don't see how fed I am while I'm going through it. Y'all, y'all, y'all shout with me. Amen. I'm, I'm losing, I'm going through it, but I'm still fat, amen, because of the love and grace and mercy that God keep giving me every time. Come on, y'all give God some praise. Let's do it. Break up today. I just want to hear one, two, or three people, if I can get to you, to say that today I'm breaking up with my situation ship. Hey, I'm breaking up on my situation. And whatever situation that you may be in, today is a good day. Say, God, have your way. Y'all not shouting at me. God, have your way with my situation. I'm not going to worry about tomorrow. I'm not going home and worry about my situation. Come on. I'm not going home and worry about my situation because I'm giving it to God. And whatever God Want to take place. That's right. I'm going to what? Praise him and still have joy. Y'all not shouting, amen. I'm breaking up, deep with my situation. It's over with. And I'm not making phone calls. You know, the said call Tyrone. I'm not calling nothing. They're going to know that we are broken up. I'm not going to. I'm breaking up with depression. Yeah. I'm breaking up with sickness. Yeah. I'm breaking up with loneliness. Yeah. I'm breaking up with no good friends and family, whatever it may be. Y'all gotta be able to say, I'm breaking up today. You can have that situation. Because this ain't what I want, this ain't what I need. And then you tell me, you're violating my peace, amen. That my father told me that I can have and that the world can't give to me. Because the world will give you the peace and then they turn around and violate your peace. Y'all make some noise, praise God, come on. right now, text your problem. Just get to your phone right now, imaginary friend, maybe, and text your problem. Say, cancer, I'm breaking up. Diabetes, I'm breaking up. Come on, y'all. Right now, I'm breaking up. Whoever may be, hey, listen, family and friends, we're breaking up. Amen. Because this situation shift is not what I need. It's not best for me. It's not what I need altogether. And when you break up with them, you're going to start to see that your money going to increase. 
Yeah. When you when you break when you break free of them, you're gonna see that you're gonna get the house and the car that you want. You're gonna get everything that God desires you to have once you break up with your situation. See, your situation should said that you can't have the car. Your situation should said that you can't have the person that you want to be with. Your situation said that you can't have the money or have the increase on your job or in your finances. See, that's what your situation should said. But my God said that, ask in his name. No, no, I'm just talking, I'm just talking. It said just ask in his name. And that's and it will be given to you. How many of y'all say, I'm gonna start asking in his name? Come on, y'all, y'all not listening, amen. I, I go to the car lot, I'm gonna be sitting right there. Yeah, I want that brand new car. Well, your credit. In Jesus' name. I want the you got to ask, if y'all shall do it, in Jesus' name, amen. I want to be what? Debt free, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. I want increase. Y'all not missing your shout for y'all, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. I want everything, amen, that he has for me, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. I want it all. Y'all got to tell him right now. In Jesus' name. I want a new job, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Y'all got to start asking what? In Jesus' name. Name. You ain't got no money in your pocket, but you're going down, amen, and asking for stuff, what? In Jesus' name. And watch what happened. You, get, you went there with no money, but you left out there with something new. Y'all not shouting, y'all not, I'm, I'm giving you the key. You got to walk up and show them, they're like, well, Mr. Arnold, you sold up in you, you ain't got down for everything. In Jesus' name. And you never know how God will show up in your condition and also in your situation. He'll show up. Come on, y'all. Let's go.
He's doing it for me. If God is doing it for you, clap your hands and give him some praise. The Lord's